So to build any arm, we need at least three layers. We need our lower arm, we need our upper arm, and we need a hand. We have our hand drawn here, and on our lower arm layer, we have our full arm drawn. The upper arm is empty, but we'll fill in the drawing later. What we want to do is get the perfect bend to the elbow. And how I like to do it is I grab my ellipse tool, and I'll zoom in right to where I want my elbow to be. I'm going to press K on my keyboard so we can see these blue outlines. Now, roughly in the middle, I'll hold Alt and Shift as I press and drag out my ellipse. While I hold Alt and Shift, this makes sure there's a perfect circle. If we select our ellipse and hold Alt and Shift, we can resize it so it fits a little bit better in between our arm. Now we just need to readjust the size until it's just touching that outside line. So if we zoom out, it looks like the lines are touching, but when we zoom in, you'll see there's no intersecting point. So we need to go a little bit farther. There we go. We have two intersecting points on either side, but now we're intersecting too much and we need to shrink this circle down. A good guide for me is if I look at the space between these intersecting lines, it's usually the same on either side. I'll select my ellipse, press Control C, and then Control Shift V to paste a copy in the exact same spot. Holding Alt and Shift, I'll shrink that copy down. I'll zoom in really, really close and shrink it down some more. The closer I can get, the more accurate this is going to be. This little dot is going to tell me where to put my pivot point for my peg. But before we put our pegs, we're going to have to put some artwork on the upper arm node. I'll select everything. I'll copy it with Control C, go to my upper arm, Control Shift V to paste in exactly the right spot. Now this is why we were being so accurate with our lines before. If we go to our lower arm and I use the cutter tool or hold P, I can swipe across and get rid of my upper arm. So all that's left is my lower arm. And even go on the inside and swipe across this line to get rid of it. And since these lines were intersecting, we have a perfect outline of our lower arm. Let's do the same thing for the upper arm. It helps to have this light bulb tool checked to let you know which layer you're working on. We're gonna cut the bottom arm away this time and the inside piece. And now we have two separate arm pieces. Let's add our pegs. Select, Control Shift P, give each one its own peg. On the lower arm, we're going to select from our advanced animation tab, our rotate tool, and we'll zoom in really close and drop that point right where we marked before. Our upper arm, we don't have to be as accurate. We can put it somewhere up here and our hand peg again, we don't have to be as accurate. Let's say we filled our arms with some color. When we move our arm around, you'll notice the perfect arm joint that we just created. Take this a step further, we could auto patch the upper and lower arms. So now the inside line disappears completely. The way I like to arrange my hierarchy for my arms is each piece has its own peg at the base level. I'll step up one peg and connect my hand and lower arm. This is where I keep our perfect pivot point. And finally, I have one peg here that controls the whole arm. The great thing about this method is I can modify the arm shape to fit whatever the character needs. So for this example, let's match it a little closer to our arm. I'll grab my ellipse tool, go to the center, hold Alt and Shift, drag out my line. I can press K to see the blue outlines, zoom in, and adjust my ellipse a little bit more. We can shift it over and scale it up. 
It may take a little more finessing, but you can see we have two points of contact here and two points of contact on the other side. You can copy, press Control Shift V, and holding Alt and Shift, we'll move the copy back in the center again. And from here, we can copy our artwork to our upper arm. Control Shift V to paste it in place. Let's grab our cutter and cut away the parts we don't need. We're on the upper arm, we'll cut away the lower part of the arm and the inside. And on the lower arm, we'll cut away the upper arm and the inside. We can adjust our arm pivot point to the center. And now you can see even though we have a different arm shape, we still have a perfect arm joint. So I've seen this done a few different ways, but I find this is the way that kind of makes most sense to me. It's pretty quick and pretty versatile, you know, if you have to change the arm shape. I also use this exact same method for the legs as well, which I basically rig the same way as an arm. And of course, adding that auto patch with the overlay, you have a built in overlap to the arm, which is super important, especially if you're doing dynamic cutout animation. I go into more detail on this pr exact process in my rigging tutorial. You guys can check that out. You can also download the auto patches you see in this video from the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.